simulation as you can see minus 36.5 because I put 5 mil plus half of the tool is 31.5 that's why it became minus 36.5 and 29 so it went 5 mil over on the final length of the material 2.5 is the first cut 2.5 on Z and go back again to minus 36.5 and Y minus 28.5 let's continue the machine moved to the right side and moved 25 mil before jumping back to minus 36.5 Go to background edit, same as usual, look for tutorial folder, open, and I'm going to name it facing, manual guide eye, then create, open again, as usual guys. I will use tool number 23 for my paste mill. And I have this uh, very simple drawing that we are going to do for our programming. The length of my wing plate is 220 millimeter, 110 the width, 605 spindle speed speed rate of 485 and tool number 23 diameter 63 face mill and I need to paste 5 millimeter of the job that's what I need only 50 millimeter and my origin is on this side and the vertical line is my y-axis and the horizontal is my x-axis. I will put 605 for spindle speed. Also change the name. 63 base mill. Alter. Then since I have now the cycle, I will click cycle and select the face machining. Select the wrapping. And the total thickness that I need to machine is 5 mil. So on the thickness, I will input 5. And I want 0.25 on my finishing amount. 0.25 input. And the radius of my paste mill, I will put, since my paste mill is 63. And the width is 110. So I will put 58 millimeter and the uh, cut depth of axis J which is my Z I will put 2.5 and my feed rate is 485 that's my feed rate feed rate axis E this one guys is the feeding down of your machine I will put 1000 and I will I will go to the detail I will press this one First speed override, I will leave it to 100%. And I have the selection if I want cutting method is single or the zigzag. If you select single, since I'm going to start on the left side of my part, going to the right. So after your tool went to the, to the right up during pacing, it will move up and go back again to the starting point on X but of 58 millimeter of Y axis so after that one going back again to the right and going up the machine is just going to machine it twice uh, my paste mill because this one is just 100 millimeter and I've used 
63 so I select single but if you want to select zigzag it will go in, down go back that's the difference of the two so I will select single and I will show you later I will select the zigzag one and we, we can see it in simulation so the clearance axis of C is my machine will position 20 millimeter above my jump 20 millimeter is fine clearance of radius M if this is your cutter so your machine your cutter will position 20 millimeter but 20 millimeter is too much I will just put 5 mil so if I put 5 mil my face mill is going to position the outside diameter of the cutter is 5 millimeter away from the outside of your job and cutting direction since I want to start from the left so I will select right this is the confusing part that I encountered before when I don't know how to use this um, manual guide eye for facing cut shift direction guys is so after going to the right facing you have the choice if going down or going up so if I choose going down go select going down so my cutter is going to start from the top eh? then go back eh? but if I select going up instead of starting from the top so my cutter now is going to start from the bottom of my Y then up then jump again to the X the page mill will cut again so that this is the difference between up and down you cannot select the right and left if you select right or left on the first one you should select up and down on the second one but if you select on the first one up then on the second on the second one which is cut depth direction you are going to select right or left it, you cannot select up up or down down no your machine is going to alarm and alarm and it, it is not going to work so I will put it back to right again and then down approach motion to access insert and then guys after you insert it will go to insert milling figure so I want x y square facing but if your job is um, is um, circle or x y track facing or any figure the machine is smart enough it will calculate I will just complete this one select the x y facing figure type facing input to go to the next next box base position cell center point of X as you can see on the box the center point is at the center of the box since my datum is on the left side so I will put the half of 220 which is 110 and my Y, since my Y is at the middle, I will put 0 and I will input the length of the X which is 220 and the length of my Y is 110 corner radius, no need to input because we don't want any radius at the corner and angle, we can just leave it blank and insert okay so now guys we have now our program for facing I will just go to the fixed form and select the tall end. So I have now my program for my facing. And of course, I, we need to put our blank before we forgot to start. And select the rectangular blank figure. Since our part is rectangular, I have the 220, which is the length, and 110. And my height is 55. X origin is 0 and my Y which is at the middle so it's 55 and I want work origin is 5 mil I will just insert this one because I don't need to change anything 
Okay guys, we have now our program for pacing. We are just going to run this one in simulation. Let's have a look in simulation if this one is going to to do what I want to do. Simulation. Go for single box so that we can see it one by one. Position to X0, Y0. Where is my datum? you can see minus 36.5 because I put 5 mil plus half of the tool is 31.5 that's why it became minus 36.5 and 29 so it went 5 mil over on the final length of the material 2.5 so that's the first cut 2.5 on Z and go back again to minus 36.5 and y minus 28.5 let's continue the machine move to the right side and move 25 mil before jumping back to minus 36.5 facing again 0.25 up Facing and all done. And if you want to change your movement, you can do it. Say we want zigzag, and we want our our pot to move keep height. Pot move B. If you want the same, or if you want maybe because this one is outside the job, so we can make it faster. Say two thousand and the clearance of C is keep them the same so let's try this one simulation again it will position to X0, Y0 because we select the other one going to 2.5 so it's now zigzag it doesn't move the Z up Thank you again guys for watching this tutorial video and see you next time. And also please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys.